Today I'm going to be talking about modeling the motion of the Ferris wheel. A mathematical model for this motion is given by the formula h at t equals a plus b cos ct, where h is the height of any given car in meters, and t is the time that has elapsed. A, B, and C are constants that are specific to each Ferris wheel. The question we're going to deal with is a Ferris wheel is 60 meters in diameter and rotates once every 4 minutes. The center axle of the Ferris wheel is 40 meters from the ground. Find the mathematical model for this Ferris wheel. First, we need to find the values of the constants a, b, and c. The value of a is given by the height of the axle from the ground, the center of the ferris wheel to the ground. Our axle height was given in the question and is 40 meters from the ground. So a equals 40. Now to find the value of b. The value of B is given by the magnitude of the radius of the Ferris wheel. So it's from the center of the Ferris wheel out to where the cars are. The diameter of the Ferris wheel is 60 meters, which was given to us in the question. So the radius is 30 meters. The sign will be negative since at T equals zero, the person in the car starts at the bottom of the Ferris wheel. So B equals negative 30. Now to find the value of C. The value of C is given by the rate of turns in degrees per minute. Our question said that it takes four minutes for the Ferris wheel to turn once. So 360 degrees per four minutes. We need to find the unit rate, and in order to do that, you take 360 and divide it by 4, and you get 90 equal 90 degrees per 1 minute. So the value of C is 90 degrees. Now to put all the constants into the model. So our model is given by H at T equals 40 minus 30 cos 90 degrees t. With this equation, we can find the height of every rider at a given time. Now we're going to sketch a graph to show the height varying with time. At t equals 0, which is the initial, initial position, we would find this by taking the axle height, which is 40 meters, minus the radius and that would give us 10 meters. Then you can plot that on your graph. At t equals one minute, the rider is in line with the axle, which is 40 meters from the ground. At t equals two minutes, which is halfway around the Ferris wheel, the axle height plus the radius. So it gives you 70 meters. At t equals 3 minutes, which is 3 quarters away around the Ferris wheel, again the rider is at the height of the axle, which is 40 meters. At t equals 4 minutes, the rider is back at the bottom of the Ferris wheel. So that would be the axle height minus the radius, which is 10 meters. Now we have all these points plotted on our graph. And if we connect the dots, we get a graph that looks like this. And if you continue the pattern, you would have the same gra graph repeating over and over again. Thank you for listening. I hope this helps.